I didn't go looking for them. They found me, as I put it. And um, I just I just want to know what's out there. There are many names on, on the reservation, but the one that uh, really sticks out is Quilima. Quilima means big, big person, if I remember right. Really not much to it. Uh, back when I was a kid, I was always told stories of it uh, just to keep me from running away from the camping area, keeping, keeping me around the area at night. We were always told as kids that if we wandered away from it, that they would come and take us, just pick us up and take us into the woods. A guy told me one time, that's a man's world out there, and it is. It's a dangerous place, very dangerous. I've come across backpacks and shoes in the bush shredded and made me wonder if somebody met their end there. So you just don't play around. It's, you just don't play around with nature and the type of animals you got out there. To me, it's like exploration going on to another planet. One of the things that amazes me when we're out in the bush is that you can look forever, you can travel all day long, hundreds and hundreds of kilometers, going in the most remote places you can imagine, perfect times, feeding grounds even, where you know there's plenty of berries and food, salmon and we don't even see a bear, a black bear. And there's hundreds of black bears in this general area. We don't even see a deer. It's just unbelievable. At night, you can set up on Lake Harrison here where we're at now. You can go 20 miles up there and look up towards Mount Breckenridge and you won't see a flashlight, a car light, nothing. There are places, it's so thick and remote. You could hide a dinosaur up there and no one would never know it. Well, mine goes back to 1980 to a fishing trip I went on in northern Minnesota with a friend of mine. We got hung up in a feeder stream late one night and about 12:30, 1 o'clock in the morning, I think it was. The fishing had died down, real still and quiet, and I started hearing a, a pounding sound. Um, the best way I could ever describe it to people is it's like tapping your chest with your fist and getting that dead thumping sound. But it was getting louder gradual, real slow and gradually louder. And then I started hearing a breathing sound going in and out, like, like this. And it kept a perfect rhythm. The pounding kept a perfect rhythm. And I'm thinking, this must be the world's largest bear or something big is headed our way. I hope it doesn't come out of the night and we're sitting here in a few feet of water in a bass boat with only fishing poles to defend ourselves. Well, this thing just kept coming like it was coming right towards us. Now I'm 20, 22 years old, not afraid of anything in them days. Wouldn't want to admit to anybody that I was, and I was scared to death. I started getting really nervous. The hair stood up on the back of my neck. This pounding's getting louder, just like this, and the breathing's getting louder. And all I can tell you is something large on two feet ran by us on the shoreline, never broke its stride, never stopped its breathing pace. Just like a machine, I don't think it ever knew we was there. And it just came right by from left to right for that brief moment. And you look at it like, what the hell was that? And then it just starts going away. And you start hearing everything in reverse that you heard coming towards you. It sounded like a jogger running. I should have known that. I was thinking four-legged animal, but it wasn't a galloping sound. It was just like two feet pounding the ground. 